Hello geniuses, this is Matho Genius and in this video I will talk about sheep, um, statistical mechanics in a nutshell. Till now we have understood permutations and combinations, what are microstates and macrostates and also established a relationship between statistical mechanics and thermodynamics. And if you have ever searched about statistical mechanics then you must have seen these graphs and these equations. And now it is time to ask that what are these graphs and what are these equations? What is statistical mechanics and what do Maxwell Boltzmann, Fermi Dirac and Bose Einstein have to do with it? And how do sheep talk to each other? Ok not maybe the last one but you got the point. So statistical mechanics is basically the study of large number of microscopic particles and with large number I mean large that means 1 followed by 23 zeros number of particles. Now to study something we need to classify it. So any microscopic system can be statistically classified in two ways. One classically and other quantum mechanically. Now if we treat the system as classically then we have the Maxwell Boltzmann statistics. If we treat it quantum mechanically then depending on the type of particles we have two statistics. One is Bose Einstein statistics and other is Fermi Dirac statistics. Now in here we are dealing with particles. But for the sake of understanding and to understand why statistical mechanics is the way it is we will deal with sheep. Now imagine there are three big grounds and in each ground there is a different type of sheep. In the first ground we have the Maxwell Boltzmann sheep or the classical sheep. In the second ground we have the Bose Einstein sheep or the Boson sheep. And in the third one we have the Fermi Dirac sheep or the Fermion sheep. Now statistical mechanics is all about how these sheep will arrange themselves when they are freed on the ground. All three sheep are trained in a different way. Now here's a catch, these are sheep, they will do whatever they want to do. Yes, they are trained, but you cannot say certainly that this sheep will do this. You can say that there is a high probability of a sheep doing this, but not certainly. The greater number of your sheep, the better your prediction will be. Hence, statistical mechanics does not deal with what a single particle will do, it deals with a large number of particles and will tell what these particles will probably do overall. It simply deals with the averaged out behavior. Now the first sheep is the Maxwell Boltzmann sheep or the classical sheep. First thing these sheep are numbered that means they are distinguishable and as you have learned in permutation and combination video when something is distinguishable they lead to more arrangements. So with this you can tell which sheep is which one and this is what makes it classical statistics. Now imagine there is a grid of boxes on the ground. Now these boxes represent energy levels E1, E2, E3 and so on. Some sheep are like really energetic, some are tired, some are really tired and some are like super super energetic. So let us say N1 sheep have energy E1. So they will go to the box named E1. So the box named E1 contains N1 sheep, the box named E2 contains N2 sheep and so on. These classical sheep are trained in such a way that any amount of sheep can go in box named E1, box named E2, like there is no restriction on the number of sheep that can go in one box. Yes, magic. And statistical mechanics is all about predicting how many sheep will be there in box named E1, in the box named E2, in the box E7 and so on. So when the sheep are completely free, that means our system is at equilibrium, then the distribution of these sheep, that means how many sheep are there in box E7, in box E8, follows this function. And this function is none other than the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution function and this is its plot. 